welcome back cpwd community so this is the home page of erp portal today we are going to see how to create a measurement so creating a measurement it's going to be very simple and easily explained in this video to start with how we came here first initial step is is to log in into this so how to log in into this i have explained this in detail in another video if you haven't checked that check that later so we can begin with creating a measurement so the first thing you have to do is select the agreement so see the tab here agreement number so you have to select the agreement that is the first step so these agreements are updated by executive engineer your executive engineer for your work so you have to select the agreement number so it says agreement has been selected you can proceed now click ok so to create a measurement you have to press rfi rfi means request for inspection so press that so this page appears so in this this is actually a second running bill for me i have already created first emb and i have sent it for payment so this is second emb i mean for second array bill i am going to create a measurement so the page shows the existing measurements of mine so i am going to create a measurement now so to create a measurement you have to press this this is the first step create measurement so this page appears so we are going to enter step by step it is going to be very simple the measurement i need to enter is brickwork measurement it is going to be like uh, filling the blanks or choose choose the correct answer it's going to be as simple as like that so to begin with type so it's going to be general works as i said i'm going to create a measurement for the brickwork i have done in my site so general works so this website asks for location allow so next is category category is measurement quantity we are not going to put for security advance or anything for non payment we are going to enter measurement for payment so it is measurement and quantity we have to select so cpwd approver is the next thing approver is obviously your uh, je in case you don't have any je you can directly apply for ae in my case it is je i have selected the junior engineer so next discipline discipline is obviously there is no option civil works then subhead so these are the subheads it will show according to your agreement so for brick work it is obviously masonry work so i am clicking masonry work if you are entering or creating measurement for something else if you are starting with earth work then go for earth work in my case it's going to be masonry work so i am selecting that next is item number actually in masonry work there are three items according to agreement so if you have agreement in your hand so it is going to be very simple in my case i am not having the agreement selecting item number 10.1 it says brick work but it is up to plinth i am going to enter the measurement for above plinth above first floor level i have done the brick work above plinth item is required for me so 11.1 so this has changed you have looked into this item description has been changed in superstructure so above plinth so this is the this is the item for which i am going to enter the measurement i got that so next thing is start date of execution and end date of execution so look this is as simple as that you are going to enter the date at which you have executed the particular item the measurement date can be varied but the execution date won't vary you are going to enter actual execution date uh, for example you can do brick work for entire building and enter measurement in single day the thing is it should not get concealed so that is the concept now you are going to enter the execution date my execution date is october 30 start date and october 31 is end date so this things agreement quantity is displayed it's uh, 9 m cube as i said in first running bill i have got 8.33 m cube so i am entering more measurement in the same item so up to date measurement is 8.33 so the next thing is location so location if when you are in a construction there is no need of anything that is single location it's going to come 
if it is a maintenance work or some other work re- like re- repair and renovation the location may vary better you can enter uh, the site name in the location if it is income tax income tax office if it is a gst office gst office you can enter the location in sub location you can give the more details in it so sub location i am going to enter i don't have anything to say in this so i am skipping this it can be skipped element brickwork so next is bmi element i will upload separate video for this in future for now let's skip this so we are going to enter the first measurement in this it says shape according to each item you can enter the shape how the measurement is in my case it's it is cuboid so the screen appears so i am entering my measurement so i have entered the measurement and it shows the quantity 1.84 m cube and that's it if require you can add some uh, photos or something like that if if it is required it is not mandatory so add row option for adding next measurement in my case i have only one measurement for this item so i am going to save it so it says measurement number is created successfully so each measurement you create has a separate id number that is identification number so you have created the measurement and it has a separate number let's go back so look at here measurement initiated measurement number so this is a measurement number 10000075850 that is the measurement number we have created now and it has come here so now measurement is created so that is the thing i plan to show you in this video so this is completed the next stage is reviewing it and after reviewing it rfi should be created and send it to je for verification then it is in the hand of je so this process will be explained in coming videos stay connected with us thank you